recording is started. Okay. And uh, I'm glad to see so many students here today. And welcome to intro webinar of Roland Scope School. It's the very first webinar and I'm going to tell you about this course. And uh, let me start the presentation. And my name is Anna. I'm front-end developer of EPAM, and at the same time, I'm one of curators or coordinators of this school. And uh, our agenda for today. I tell you about the Rollinscope School. We check the schedule for this course. Uh, then you will have the possibility to register for GitHub and for Roland Scopes application. I will show it uh, a little bit uh, later. Then uh, we look at the first task and finally, and perhaps it's most uh, important part, you will know about the Git. Okay. And what did the Roland Scopes school? It's a community driven course and the school have been started in 2013 and we really believe that education should be free for everyone. That means uh, we are not waiting from you any charge. Our team is working for free to share our knowledge and experience to you. And uh, why it's free? Mm, we guess that everyone should have possibility to join IT despite their age, education, uh, financial situation and so on. And we uh, believe uh, that after finishing this course and successful employment, you're back to us and share your knowledge and your experience with the next generation of uh, students. We have a lot of runs in the past, but your run is a special one due to it's a very first run in Georgia. So guys, my congratulations to you. OK, and um, as you know, uh, we didn't ask uh, you about age, uh, gender, education or uh, something uh, kind of this. But uh, currently we have uh, one requirement for you. You should have work permit uh, to work in Georgia to be hired in case uh, of successful uh, passing this course. And uh, beware in case you have no work permit in Georgia, you may attend this course, but uh, we are not provide you a personal mentor. Uh, OK. And let's proceed. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have uh, two coordinators uh, from this course. One of them from Georgia. It's Rati. Rati, are you here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, me, Anna. And in case you have any questions to us, you may reach us uh, in the Discord channel. OK, and let's move on. A uh, few words about our program. Uh, this program, uh, this program duration is uh, approximately seven months. And uh, I should note this course is not easy. And if you guess uh, that you will uh, just attend in the technical lectures or webinars and it help you to become a junior developer, uh, you're wrong. Uh, we are, uh, guess that um, during this course, you will uh, work real hard to uh, 
join IT sphere uh, to reach your aim. And uh, next point, as I mentioned before, we have two coordinators and we have a group uh, of uh, mentors from different countries. It's Georgia, Belarus, Uzbekistan, United Kingdom, Poland and so on. And these uh, mentors will help you during this course. And uh, currently you may see the technology uh, you will learn during this course. It's HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Uh, as advanced part, it would be Webpack, NPM, TypeScript. And finally, uh, we provide uh, to you a course of React and Node.js. So at the end of this course, you will have the possibility to be a full stack developer, not just front end. And a uh, few words about uh, benefits of Rolling Scope schools. And first and important thing, it's free courses, as I mentioned before, no obligation and contracts, only student time and dedication. Uh, also, as I mentioned before, it's not easier course, so we're waiting that you will spend around 20 plus hours per week to apply all knowledge and to complete tasks that we are going to provide for you. Uh, all materials will be available on YouTube, uh, GitHub and our Discord channel. That means if you are miss uh, one of lecture or any lecture, uh, next day this lecture will be uploaded to YouTube channel and uh, I will share the link to this lecture in our Discord. And uh, starting from stage two, you will receive the personal mentor. About stages, I will tell you a little bit later. Next point. After finishing this course, you will have possibility to be employed uh, to a EPAM in case you successfully pass this course. Uh, also, uh, you will have a lot of interesting tasks and challenging tasks, and we believe this task help you uh, to apply all technical knowledge that you will receive during our webinars. Uh, in case if uh, something went wrong and you will uh, fail during the course, don't worry, you may um, attend uh, next run of this course and you may do it again, again and again until you successfully finish. And uh, finally, we have no any restriction related to age, education and so on. Just only one related to work permit in Georgia. And what uh, was uh, what will be at the end of the course? You will be a front end developer, junior front end developer with high demand skill set. And as I mentioned before, we have a step uh, to help you to become full stack developer. And finally, the best students will be hired by EPAM. And uh, also, as I mentioned before, related to Roland Scope School, we have uh, one important for us principle, it's uh, pay the forward. It means uh, according to this uh, principle, students started school for free, but we request that uh, they return to us as a mentor uh, to share this uh, their knowledge experience to the next generation of students if they want. We will not force anyone. 
and uh, let's uh, go through the main important uh, links. First of them, I guess uh, you have a uh, look at its uh, information about school. Uh, as you can see here, we have a link for Discord channel, information about the scheduler, uh, short course, uh, <coughs> sorry, short course information, and so on. Uh, next link uh, will be to our Rollinscopes application. Uh, you will join this application uh, using your GitHub. Uh, at the end of this webinar, you will uh, know how to register in the GitHub. Here, uh, most important uh, links is score. Here you will find the task and uh, the point uh, you received for this task. Currently, two students have been joining us. Interesting. And uh, let's look at the first task. Uh, all tasks uh, will in English with a strict uh, description what you should do for this task. According to this task, you should uh, register on GitHub and add uh, your first information about you, your name, uh, contact information, and so on. Pay attention, this task will uh, check by script. So if you will not uh, uh, reach these requirements, you will not get all points are just a part of. Uh, to, or in case you want to submit this task, you should go to auto test, uh, select this task, markdown and git, and click submit. Currently, I would, uh, I want to, I wouldn't be able to submit due to I am not a student but you will be able to do it. Uh, next category of task, as you can see, it's test. Also, you should go to auto test, uh, select test, uh, click the correct answer, press submit, and uh, you will receive correct and incorrect uh, answers. Also, you may pass this test five times and uh, the last score will be uh, shown in the our board. But you may try as much times as you want, but you will receive only a half of a score. So first five times it will be whole score. After that, you will receive on the a half. And after you finish this test, you will find your result is this board or is this table. OK. Uh, Elsa, I will provide a link to Discord and pay attention. All announce will be in this chat. So let's agree that uh, only me and uh, Rati will send you any notification here. It's help you to know some news or perhaps um, we have uh, to reschedule uh, the lecture or something else. This news will be here. So please, uh, for communication, use any other chat uh, except this one. I guess it's OK. So uh, you have chat uh, general question and uh, as we agree a little bit above uh, this chat for English communication and we have a special one uh, for you uh, to Georgia communication. Uh, 
As I mentioned, I don't know Georgia, so in case you have a question directly to me, please uh, write me in English or if you write in uh, uh, direct message, you may use Russian language. Up to you. Uh, here uh, we have uh, lectures and I'm gonna to share uh, here the important links. For instance, uh, a little bit later, I will share the presentation for you. I share the link to the first task, uh, link for scheduler and so on. And you may ask any question related to this uh, lecture. I hope it uh, would be useful for you. Uh, it would be comfortable uh, to ask question in appropriate channel. And finally, uh, let's go through the scheduler. Uh, I'm trying to Share the link if I found the. OK. What about scheduler? Today is Monday and today is a uh, welcome meeting or introduction meeting. And uh, in future, the lectures will be on Tuesday and Thursday at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Georgia time. So next lecture will be at uh, 8th of July. Today we will, uh, you have received first task and first test. And let's agree that if you receive task, you should finish it up to the next task. It's mean today uh, you received first task and you will finish it until 13. I mean, it uh, should be finished twen at 12 of uh, July at one minute before midnight. Uh, it sounds a little bit tricky, <laughs> but agree that before of uh, 13 of July, the task was finished. The same for test. The test should be finished before the day of next test. So it means the Git test should be passed uh, until 14 of July. I hope is it OK. OK, then you uh, may see that uh, it would be lectures related to HTML, semantic CSS3, flex, grid, uh, adaptive and responsive design. It's everything that uh, um, important in our life. Then uh, we move on with uh, webinars related to JavaScript. Uh, about it would be webinars about dev tools, uh, code styles, DOM IP, and so on. And finally, uh, we will receive two uh, tasks, but it not um, it's uh, would be one interesting point. This task you will check to each other. It's mean one student, one student will check. Uh, three tasks from other guys and each student will check three tasks. Uh, you may uh, leave your comment uh, and so on. Uh, I will provide you instruction how to check what points should be highlighted and so on and how to provide a score. And after you finish uh, checking the task, uh, the average score between three uh, of scores will be sent to our base score. Okay, and as you can see, at the end of August, uh, the first stage uh, will be completed and you will pass the first interview. All students who 
finished all task will pass through the interview. Uh, interview was related only for themes that uh, you passed in the stage one. And after interview, the student who uh, shown her knowledge uh, will uh, go to the stage two. On this stage, you will get a personal mentor. This mentor will check your task. Uh, this person will help you with answers, articles, useful materials, and so on. And finally, uh, this stage it's kind of uh, advanced of JavaScript. And after passing this stage, you will also pass the interview. Uh, with other mentors, so your mentor won't be able to uh, conduct the interview for you. The student who successfully passed this interview uh, will join the React part and the Node.js part. And finally, uh, after uh, all the stages, it will be the uh, exit interview. The exit interview will be related for all themes uh, that you have learned during this course. I believe uh, that the several interviews help you uh, to verify where is your lack of knowledge and you will uh, know uh, what you should uh, learn one more time or several time again. OK. That's uh, all and let's go to questions from you. OK. Whoa, whoa, it's too much. OK, hi, hi, good evening. I can see the present. Oh, guys, I'm not sure that I understand this question. I don't know Georgia language. Only requirement is to have work permission, which is based on age. Guys, now uh, work permission is uh, the document that uh, allow you to work in Georgia. Uh, so, uh, your age, your education, and so on and so on, it doesn't matter to us. Mm. Uh, can we submit our code uh, then more than once? Sure, you may submit as many times as you want. Uh, can I connect? Can I connect? How I can connect to the chat? Uh, I'm not sure about what exactly chat do you mean? How can I? Ah, it's about Discord, perhaps. Thank you. Invitation for chat link is invalid. Oh, oops. oops, 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 oops. Mm -hmm. OK. Where I can do task? Uh, where I can do task? I hope it's uh, related to ID and you may use any ID you want. How to register them? OK, let's go to presentation. Open link for registration and. Share this link with you. Oh. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I have one oh. question. Can I ask you later on? Yeah, you may. Right now or should should you do something afterwards? Should okay, I... you may ask. Right oh, okay, now. thank you. Uh, I have a question, like after finishing the first stage, uh, you said that we're gonna have the interview, right? Right. And the interview is gonna be like theoretical part and the practical part. And also I want to know if I succeed in this interview, I'm gonna be able to continue with the second stage? Yeah. Uh, the interview was uh, will be related to both theory and practice. So the mentor uh, may ask you to write how to do something easier and uh, the mentor will ask you some theory, uh, theoretic uh, questions and after you successfully pass this interview so um, you may have a gap but this gap is not serious so it's enough to join the stage two and continue uh, our course Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, where we can see uh, what time we have uh, the next lecture. All lecture will be start at 7 p.m. Uh, Georgia time. And the link uh, for the lecture will be the same as today. Uh, what is the length? of a lesson uh, the duration uh, would be different it may be one hour it may be two hour uh, depend on a theme some theme uh, is short some theme uh, uh, have has a lot of information it's one hour is not enough uh, to say all necessary that you should know And everyone from Georgia from 16 can work. Resistant don't need to uh, the work permission. Uh, related to work permission and from 16 can work. I'm not sure due to I don't know the um, uh, Georgia laws. Uh, so I may check this information with the managers from Georgia office and uh, back to you with answer in the Discord. Sorry, but I'm not um, specialized in a lower. Please link me where we need to register. I share this link. If we can schedule on some lecture, is it minus score or something? Guys, if you miss some lecture, you will be able to look uh, at it on the YouTube. So it's okay. Uh, I understand that you have um, may have plans or you may work or something of it. So it's okay if you wouldn't be able to attend online lecture, but I really recommend you uh, to attend uh, due to you may ask questions and uh, receive the answers. Uh, where can we see the test we have to take and can I uh, can you put the link to ref school? Uh, sure, the link to IRS school is uh, the next and here you will find all tasks. <clears throat> My question is, where is the task uh, that we have to do and how we join the website? I have shared the link. I guess uh, you will be able to join the RS uh, application and find tasks and test. <clears throat> Can I still get a mentor if I don't have work permit in Georgia? Sorry, in case you have no work permit in Georgia, you will not get a mentor. Sorry, the amount of mentor is limited. 
and uh, considering this course is specific one for Georgia student, uh, we provide the mentors only for Georgian uh, people or for people who have work permit in Georgia. So stuff related to backend IPI development will be in the end of the course, it seems. Yeah, uh, the backend uh, development will be at the end. The, uh, where we can see the task, I hope I have uh, shown it. After, yeah, correct. And when we can download presentation, I will share it a little bit later. Uh, she said upload in Discord. First language will be HTML. Yes, first uh, webinar will be related to HTML and CSS. Вы говорите по-русски? Yes, I speak Russian and English, but in this chat not everyone speak Russian, so I prefer to speak English. Uh, I know that my English is not pretty well, but I'm trying and uh, I hope <laughs> you will understand me. <laughs> Can you show again the task page? Uh, you will find this task uh, after join the REST application. On which stage the lack of Georgian work permission will actually affect the education process? Uh, one more time. Uh, any person may attend lectures. Any person may do the task, but Starting from stage two, only students who work work permission may uh, receive the personal mentors. But it doesn't matter that I will expel of student who has no work permission. Is it possible to pass to second stage without passing interview? No, it's impossible. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I wonder um, to know why you are afraid of interview. Are you were related to language or something else? Due to we have mentors from Georgia, uh, from Georgia, Belarus, and so on. So uh, you may choose Russian, Georgia, or English language. I guess uh, we will uh, find the win-win uh, for everyone. <laughs> what better practice to go with the flow with task? I mean task deadline or work a little hard and do them before the task time. Um, from my perspective, I would recommend to start the task uh, at the very first day. Uh, so you will have time to finish task, to add some uh, improvement, to learn uh, information about this task. You know, when we uh, when you receive the personal mentor, you will uh, you will agree that uh, mentor check task, uh, write comments, and you may apply comments and receive a higher score uh, than you may do it before applying comments. What is the deadline of task? As I mentioned before, the deadline is the day before the next task. The same for test. Uh, Anna, can I ask you a question just after the lecture in private? Uh, sure, you may reach me in the Discord. In uh, direct messages, you may use English or Russian, up to you. When is the next lecture? The next lecture is on uh, 8 of July. Next, can I join the course from another country? 
Uh, as I mentioned before, you might join the course, but if you have no work permission, we will uh, not provide you a personal mentor. Uh, we need to do some tests now, not now, but after today's lecture about the Git. If you will work for IPAM and become mentors later, will it be paid? Uh, I'm I'm not sure that I would be able to answer this question due to I'm not a part of Georgia office, so I don't know the information related to Georgia office. But if it's uh, important for you, uh, please uh, write me this question in direct and I, s I will ask uh, Georgia uh, head office um, manager of office uh, and back to you with information. OK, is it just front end preschool or res G? Uh, it's a res G. Uh, GS front end preschool. It's a kind of uh, a small course for newbie, but if you feel uh, yourself like a newbie, so you don't know nothing about the uh, IT, about programming, perhaps you should uh, pass this small course. And please uh, mute your microphone uh, to avoid noise in the chat. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. First of all, we have to register in GitHub. Then we use GitHub in REST application, right? Absolutely right. Firstly, you should register in the GitHub, and after me, Rati will tell you about the GitHub and Git, and uh, help you uh, show you how to register. And then you will be able to register with this uh, GitHub to REST application. And after it, you will see the task and uh, test. So you have to be 16 plus years old to work in Georgia, right? Uh, guys, I don't know the answer for this question, sorry. Uh, will the task be related to what we learn here or what knowledge we had before? Uh, this task will be related to today's lecture, but uh, all time uh, you will uh, learn something more than you get during the lecture. Uh, as a part of um, daily routine of any developers is possibility to search information in the internet. So I hope uh, that you um, will get such a uh, skill during this course. So uh, be aware you have to search some info in the internet. Would be nice to have deadlines pointed our more daily because there are these just when the lecture are starting just personal option i will think about it perhaps it's uh, applicable hi we will go through the task uh, how i can be done or do we have to do it from our end without further explanation and future uh, after the lecture about the git the task will be more uh, will be seems more easier for you so don't worry and uh, don't uh, forget about google it may help you uh, elsa <clears throat> you may help um, we have a lot of lectures in our youtube channel Perhaps uh, you want to look one of them or more and find uh, some necessary information. That's OK. Uh, now your English is very well. Oh, thank you. It's quite understandable. Oh, I'm shining. <laughs> So without the permit, I won't be able uh, to get an interview for each section and won't be able to get certificate 
Right. Yes, it's correct. You sorry, but you won't be able to um, part the interview and get certificate. But you uh, may look at the site of Roland Scope School. We have another English language or Russian language courses, and there is no such requirements. So if uh, it's necessary for you, please uh, find me in Discord and I'll try to provide you with other possibility uh, to pass these courses. Uh, or it's only applies to getting personal mentors. Uh, yeah, it's both and it applies for personal mentors and for certificate and interview. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have the limited amount of mentors and uh, so we just wouldn't be able to cover all students from different country. So first of all, uh, we want to help the Georgian people. Uh, will there be a limited number of students and in stage two? Uh, for now, we are uh, not going to limit the number. How many webinars will be in the in one week? It will be two webinars in Tuesday and Thursday. What if I know material from first day? Can I pass it? Yeah, you can uh, skip the lecture, but you should. Uh, uh, but you should uh, finish all task. What task we need to do now? For now, you should uh, do the task related to markdown and git and you should finish the task the test but you should finish it up to next task and up to next test uh where i can find the task i'm searching for task in this website However, I can find written list of tasks. Should we upload all tasks on auto created wrapper? Oh, I'm searching the task on the rest up school. You should go to score and here. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. And here uh, you will find the markdown and git. Click on the title and you will be redirected to the description of this task. Next, I couldn't understand what is the markdown and git task? What should we do? It only show submit button. Uh, guys, uh, to read the description, please click on the title of this task here. Next, uh, will the task only be, only be checked by the peers in the first stage? Uh, in the first stage, yes. Uh, starting from the stage two, your task will be checked by your personal mentor. Uh, will this recording be uploaded on YouTube? Uh, yes, all uh, webinars will be recorded and uploaded to YouTube. Do we get a certificate after completion? Uh, after you successfully finish this course, it means you successfully pass the final interview, you will get the certificate. Uh, how this course is different from YouTube videos recorded during previous sessions. Uh, as you know, we have uh, uh, different lectures, different mentors and different tasks. And according to um, feedback from uh, previous run, we add some uh, changes to our uh, schedule, to our task and so on. So, uh, I'm not sure what uh, exactly run do you mean, but I hope you'll find some difference. 
What about the location during the registration? If it doesn't let me choose Georgia country, it forces me to choose Georgia USA. Uh, uh, I hope that you choose Georgia country. Uh, in case you will uh, choose Georgia USA, uh, I guess it will be a kind of mistake. Uh, figure out uh, when I will be this lecture will be on YouTube. The lecture will be available the next day. After lecture, I mean. I've registered the git with this course and I guess it old one can I change it to a new one. Uh, you may attend a several course at the same time. So uh, JS Frontend Press School it's kind of a course for real starting person. I mean the student who have never looked at the programming, but if you want, you may uh, attend this course and uh, the course for Georgia as well. How we can start our task in GitHub? Uh, guys, after I finish with the uh, questions, uh, you will attend, uh, Rati will tell you about the Git and GitHub. So I guess it would be enough information uh, to finish this task. Are the tasks available in English? Oh, yes, all tasks will be in English. Uh, when I click on the task, I only get in the Russian language. In case you have registered to uh, press school, you will <laughs> redirect Russian version of a uh, task. Please uh, register to a correct one course. Our course will have only English uh, description for task. How many students will have the chance to pass the first stage, second stage and so on? For now, we have no any restriction re related to the amount of students. So each student who pass interview, who finish all tasks with a high enough score, it means if you get only one point of uh, 100, it's not enough. But uh, I'm not sure for now the uh, initial level of students. So uh, let me answer the question a little bit uh, later. What score is enough? But we have no limitation for number of students. Where are tasks? The task in the Roland Scope application, I guess. Where should we send our homework? You should send uh, all your homeworks. All tasks will be uh, sent or submit through the Roland Scopes application. Currently, you will find, uh, find this task in the uh, auto test. Next task I will uh, for the other task. I will show share the instruction for you. Uh, which course should we choose during the registration? Uh, RSGE is the current one. Tasks are only in Russian. Guys, seems it's mistakes. I choose RSGE. Open the score. Go to Markdown and Git. Click on the title of task and I see the English version. Please uh, check what course uh, did you choose. I guess we're supposed to choose uh, RSG. Yes, you should choose RSG. How can I switch course? You should register according to link that I uh, share a little bit above. Uh, do we need prior programming knowledge experience to complete uh, this course? 
it would be nice to have uh, such experience, but if you have no, uh, you will uh, spend a little bit more time uh, on a task, but it's still possible uh, to successfully finish this course. I have one question. Sorry for oh. interruption. Yeah. Uh, about the. Mm, Interview uh, about the interview. Yeah, uh, I have a question about the interview. Uh, is it going to be on English or? And also, I want to know if it's going to be individual. It would be individual. Uh, we have a mentor speaking in English, Russian, and Georgia language. So, okay. uh, we will. Uh, you cool. may choose, and we'll try okay. to compare the pairs uh, to is, the is person there, who are speaking on the same sense. language. Yeah, okay. Is there any difference if I choose Georgian, Russian, or English? Like, no, 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 no. Like it's only for your comfort. Uh, ah, okay. For your comfort. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I could choose only. How can I change it? Guys, seems it's a real strange. Let's do it with us. Uh, this link, as you can see, leads to RSGE. So, please go through this link and register according only this link. Excuse me, can I ask something? Sure. Uh, so some people from this group uh, have made some maybe some mistakes during the registration. So I would like to ask you if they can deactivate the account and register one more time with uh, no mistakes. If there is any uh, option for deactivating the account. Uh, you know, yes. to deactivate account, I should expel the student. But I'm not sure that the students <laughs> may join this course again. Uh, oh, okay. I will ask this point with the uh, admins of uh, Roland Scope's application. But in case uh, okay. you entered uh, uh, incorrect data on something else, uh, reach me in the Discord and uh, let me try to help you with uh, okay. this Thank issue. You. So if we will have any problems again and we will not be able to change the details, we will contact you directly, OK? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I also have problem with uh, location. I won't let me choose Georgia. OK. Just type no, please. And that's how you can choose Georgia. George. No, first you uh, type uh, the city and then uh, country. Please write Belize. Oh, yes. yeah. Please. In case you type Belize, you will find the Georgia. Okay, write Belize. I am registered. Yeah, I just resubmitted. Oh, <clears throat> someone uh, told that uh, they would be, would be able to resubmit. I'm type Kutaisi, Georgia is a problem. Uh, if it's uh, one of city of Georgia is not a problem. Can I watch video and take a test later? Yeah, guys, you have uh, almost uh, almost six days uh, to complete this test. So you shouldn't do it today or right now. You may uh, learn more about Git. Uh, try some uh, basics of Git and then Try to choose test uh, to pass tests. We need to sign up with GitHub in order to access 
a school application. Yeah, as I mentioned before, you should firstly you should uh, register on GitHub and using this GitHub account, you may join the RS school application. Uh, can you help us to change our course from uh, to RSG or we should register with a new email? No, guys, we shouldn't to register with another email, just register according to link uh, that uh, was published before. Uh, you will see two courses, but it's OK. Uh, a little bit later, I may ask uh, coordinators from uh, GS front end preschool course to expel you from this course. It's OK, don't worry about it. You may be registered to several courses at the same time. It's OK. I choose the wrong course. How can I change? Check to register to the correct one. Edit it form profile. Perhaps it's work. OK, do you have another question? Yeah, I have another question. Can I ask? OK. Uh, uh, I joined in, in F at a school uh, and I go to the schedule and I get the kick test and I don't know what to do in there. Could you kind of help? OK, guys. Seems I have answered this question several times, but uh, I'm repeat again. Okay, so Please uh, hold on this test and task. Firstly, you should listen to the webinar about Git. It uh, will be today after me, and then you will try to pass test, and then you will try to finish the task. Okay. Don't sense. hurry up. <laughs> OK, thank you. Thank you. Uh, for the last question, when I open the test, it shows only Russian version. Guys, if you see the Russian version of task, of test and so on, it means you have been registered to run course. Git read test redirect. To pass a test, you should go to auto test and there you will choose the appropriate task or test. Let's let me show on one more time. First, you should go to auto test, then you should choose git test and you will see the submit button. Uh, according to test in score, it's a general uh, description for all tests, but the test is hidden here. Mm, to end, can you share with us the Google Sheet link to the scheduler? Uh, that, what it mean in step five from Markdown? Go to Markdown. Uh, code example latest. It means uh, currently uh, you will add the information about yourself. Uh, your git it's kind of your CV. In future you will uh, be share this link with your customers or uh, something kind of customers. And during this course you may uh, you may add. Uh, the link of task uh, to this file and uh, in future it's at the end of this course it will be a your CV. Uh, next one. OK, thank you. Uh, as I thought we should. For second webinar and then make a to test right. 
uh, after the next webinar uh, that uh, will uh, of 8th of July. No, next task would be at, uh, at, at, at after the semantic and CSS lecture. Auto test part. Will this meeting upload on YouTube? Yes, guys, all meeting will be recorded and uploaded on the YouTube. Yes, Kobo, it will be. Yeah. Uh, I accidentally click it on the submit button. It's the auto test page. We'll be able to resubmit. Uh, please uh, pay attention on the description of test. You have five uh, attempts. Uh, to In the score, you will see the score of the last of attempts. So. In case you uh, click uh, submit one more time, it's OK. Uh, on both tasks, no, it's for test. For task, you may click submit as many times as you want. It doesn't matter and nobody will uh, count the number. <laughs> What's maximum mark of test? Um, guys, I don't remember. But I'll check and write it in the Discord. Just forget. Uh, in auto test, there is only one test. Markdown test is. Oh. Guys, you have test with the set of question and answers for, uh, for this question, and you have task. Uh, when task you should implement uh, it to your git and share the link to your git please do not miss uh, mix it up these uh, terms so i guess during this uh, course you will understand what does mean test what does mean task and so on it's okay for now for now can we leave the session uh, yes, sure you can. You should create a GitHub repository on your GitHub account with the markdown documents. As soon as you make it, click submit. Oh, absolutely correct. OK, do you have another questions or we may uh, proceed with the lecture according to Git? Are you single? Uh, love your voice. Can I choose you as my mentor? Um, I'm not sure that I would be able to be a mentor due to I'm a coordinator of uh, several courses, but uh, it's possible. Test in Russian. If uh, in case you test in Russian, it mean you are choosing a wrong course. Let's proceed. Please follow up by proper instruction Discord to ensure complete understanding of the steps. Yes, please let's move to Git. What if, uh, let's start in Git. OK, let's start Git. Rati, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hello once again. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. So my name is Rati. I am uh, Front-end developer in EPAM systems. Also, I'm curator of this course, and I will introduce the most important thing in the programmer's life, I think. So, let me begin. Let me share my screen. Mm, can you see it? Yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. See. Yeah. Okay, let's begin. Before we start about Git, let me say several words about version control. The version control is a way to modify our code. It's also known as source code, code con control. So if we need to modify our code to contribute with other people with uh, different versions of our code uh, and to draw back in previous version or to save new ones, we use version control system and the version control system have tools and most popular tool for version control is 
Git. And uh, Git is not GitHub. Uh, GitHub is a remote server, remote web host for Git repositories. So at first, let's begin uh, work with Git and let's download it. We have it here, download for it for your system. And download will be start so. So I have downloaded it already, so I will can it and install it with you. So uh, all different, all the default parameters should be uh, stayed as they are. It's recommendation for me. So just click on next uh and save this file and see uh there you can choose your text document while working with git bash uh it will be a code or it will be vim or some other uh text document so i will left vim uh click on next again next I'll leave everything uh, and Install it just like it. So wait for installation and. How do I download it for macOS? I didn't quite if, get it on the side. If your system is macOS, we can, yeah. What about Linux? Uh, can you repeat? What about people who use the Linux? Yeah, you, you can download it. You and uh, the most of Linux distros have uh, built in GitHub Git terminal, so you don't have to, to be honest. It is it is just GitHub terminal, Git Git terminal, so we can run it with right click on context menu and write Git bash here. So we see this virtual terminal and we see our uh, environment oh, current. Oh. It is desktop. So let's create a folder to begin work with Git. Call it something. So there's empty folder. Let's create, let's move here to work here in this folder with command CD and folder name uh, or we can just uh, call it here, git bash here. And we have it. So uh, at first, let me create some file to work with. I will open with the code editor. So if you don't uh, understand the, I will, I will create the HTML file. And if you don't understand what will be written in HTML, don't be scared. Uh, it will be understanding, uh, uh, next lectures, but it, 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 it will not be hard to understand. So it is a basic HTML structure and uh, give it title, some title. It's not important right now. So uh, we're talking about it. And uh, call it some header and in text. How we can download in Linux. What Git? Git is yes. built. Git terminal is built in uh, the most of Linux distros, so you can run uh, a command that I will write here. You know, in your Linux terminal. Uh, you might need to install Git from the package manager. You don't have to. With apt. The Git itself, the program. Yeah, Bash is available, but I don't think Git is diff by default in many distros. Well, what, what's your distro? Uh, I'm on Fedora, for example, and I use a sudo dnf install uh, git to install git. No, I don't know to. So let's uh, save it and uh, let's see what happened. So it is a file, it's awesome. So let's move with git. We are now in this file and to initialize git repository to start work with git, we should write command git in it. And now 
we can see that branch name appeared. This is named where we are now in the Git, and the folder, hidden folder appeared here. If you don't see this folder, don't be scared. Go to start, go to files and folders, and here click view and click show hidden files and folders. Uh, and then Git appeared. It means that uh, folders start working with Git. So now we can uh, add this file. It will be added to Git. Uh, to sorry for interruption. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, can you do everything a little slower because you are like running real fast? I can catch up. And what we are doing at this moment, what is the purpose of this? What is Git in general and how we use it here? What do you mean by you? Can you repeat the question? Uh, in general, what is Git? Git is version code. I am control and I am uh, uploading it on GitHub to manage your code, to uh, change it and to uh, weave the version of your code. Why okay, I, got, I got it. And, uh, and one question. Uh, yes. Is there anything that Git can do and GitHub cannot? Git is not GitHub. GitHub is a host for Git. Git's Git repository can be pasted on GitHub. It's like I mean, uh, for example, when uh, we are learning those uh, terminal commands for Git, but is there anything that we can't do in GUI interface? No, to be honest, not. It's uh, your choice. You do it in GUI interface or terminal, but. Uh, best practice, as I know and as I recommend, is to do it in terminal okay. to train okay. it. Thank you. No problem. And one more thing. Could you repeat what you did uh, previously uh, with this uh, uh, Git folder? Uh, command Git in it? No, after that, uh, you created this uh, Git folder. No way. Uh, system is automatically created. It is hidden folder. So, so how did we do it? You can go in start and write files and folders. So there will be uh, file explorer options and go to view and click here show hidden files, folders, and drives. And okay, thank you. Thank you. In macOS, can you show me? Well, in macOS, I don't have macOS now and I can't. Sure, I'll do it. Thanks. Yeah, you will Google, uh, or I will go after we. You know, it's default on Mac OS, I think. I have yeah, Mac OS, and it's default. Uh, I think yeah, so. that's what I thought, but I don't see any Git create. Uh, I see it to the folder, and then click Git in it, and it doesn't show this folder. You see this name, branch name? Yes, it's master. Yep. Yeah, it, it works. It works. It, it's, it's good. So now let's check the status of Git. The status of our Git, it will be uh, checked by Git status. And it means what status have now Git. And we have one file which is not tracking. The Git did not see him in his system. And the file is not added uh, yet. So let's fix it and write Git add. And with Git add, we have uh, several options. We can write in quotes a name of the file, index.html, the file which we are adding, or uh, we can add git add and dot. This dot will add everything to uh, every file to our git's uh, repo. So let's add it by dot. And now we see uh, the command happened. So let's check it with git status again. And now see that index HTML is visible by uh, our Git. And now let's commit. Now let's save it to the Git and save it to our local machine. Uh, so let's write Git commit dash m to write message to write why this commit are created. For example, I will write created index HTML. Because of it will be easy understandable for you and for your colleagues when you when they are working with Git, uh, they will see the commits and they will see what commit uh, did. So let's write it. And now, uh, sorry, I see it uh, to several uh, your locations, and I think I got too many files now. 
Okay. We we did hear you. Sorry. We can't hear you. Sorry. Your voice is. I'm sorry. sorry. Uh, I I see it several to several locations and initialized uh, get several. You did it in several locations, or you did it in this folder, or with some another place. What do you mean by several locations? It means how to fetch all files. I mean, uh, first uh, make to to make config first of all uh, to connect to our repository. I mean, in GitHub or what do you yes, mean? Yes, yes, from uh, from from CLI. I will show. So don't be hurry. We have a first commit and we have a status. Um, so one branch master, nothing to tell me because it's it's all the commit. So uh, I'll use now uh, to do another commit and make second commit, second one. I will add some paragraph uh, and Learn it. All right. Uh, it will be comfortable to use also uh, this terminal too, with the uh, built-in terminal of code editor. It's exactly the same as Git Bash, so don't be scared. I will use it. It's more comfortable. And let's again, first of all, add it on the repository. Right. Uh, git add that. So uh, it starts check the status. So git status. Uh, again, we see that it's not added in, uh, yet, so we should write git add and then that. Okay. Uh, then we should commit it. And while committing, commit system has uh, definition that means conversional commits. Conversional commits means that it's easily to understand what you're committing for uh, your uh teammates or people who you work with and uh, the git uh, has some uh, templates for uh conversional commits it means uh some keywords uh so i will show you it's like description you mean it's like yes it's like description to make uh, more clear what you're committing so we will write semantic comments here it is exactly the same. So this is link I will link to chat to. You can use it for free. So there are so many examples what does it does. For example, feed does adding new functionality. For example, my comment is no feed because I had new paragraph. So let's write feed. What's it is important part and then write what you did. I added new paragraph. OK, it passed me on uh, between parentheses or not. Wait, uh, I did it with typo so uh, but it will commit to it will be like like it mm, sorry can, can, uh, can, can, can you, you okay Go ahead. Uh, can you sublime text? Sublime text? Yeah. You can use git bash if you have sublime text. Yes, you can use sublime text if uh, you installed the terminal plugin on it. Yeah, same. No problem. So uh, we can now see the history of our comments, what we did with one comment. Let's write git log. And now we can see everything. Second commit is add new paragraph. Uh, you can see author, you can see date. Uh, first commit created index HTML, and you can see your information too. So let's uh, add some new paragraph again. 
and write something to. And here, uh, run this comment. It's, it does, it compares to uh, the files. For example, uh, what we uh, added. So write git diff from difference. And we see it's added p today. So uh, let's continue and now I will uh, show how to use already GitHub and how to upload each of these initialized files on GitHub. So let's go to GitHub. GitHub is, as I mentioned above, uh, host for Git repositories, our local files. OK, let's click continue. I'll enter your email, OK? It's sign up in process. Yeah, it is sign up. Yeah. If you are already registered, you can just sing. OK, create a password. Uh, you are sharing your screen, so just in case. Oh, it's my test account. So. And enter usernames. So let's try to continue. Is the project complete? Uh, it's recommended to write yes. Oh, here is puzzle. Spiro. And click on create account. So I will Next strange. Oh, I entered wrong email address. Okay, verified. And your email is verified, and now we can start creating repositories. So click here. Uh, have you done? Or I'm in a hurry? Uh, I have. Uh, <clears throat> can you, can you uh, uh, redirect from uh, Bash? Uh, can you redirect and uh, change repository and show us how to uh, fetch? File to a repository, new repository. So I'm doing, I'm doing this now. With no, this no, one. from from Bash, please. It's, uh, it would be very uh, interesting for me. So, so I will now writing the repository name here. For example, tests. Uh, I will not write description. I will not initialize, I don't do anything. And when you click create, create repository here, there we can see push accessing repository from the command line. So there is a command that you're interested in. There is git remote at origin, and it will add our repository, our local repository from CMD to our uh, GitHub repository. So click on enter. Then write second command. It will change. It will change uh, branch name. I will under, I will explain then what is branch. So. Okay, let's paste it. And then 
let's push it. Push means that we are uploading it on our GitHub repository. Wait. Uh, so I have access to second account, so I will, I will fix it now. You, it will work with you. So is it necessary to use Git Bash only because mostly I just use GitHub? Yeah, you can you can use UX. I I don't work with terminal most of the time. Oh, and uh, is it necessary to use terminal all the time? That's what I'm interested in. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is up to you. Well, oh, okay. So what happened with it? Rati, please slowly. If you are running, I, I need another election. Uh, I want to see YouTube uh, channel another election about Git. Please slowly. So I, I have an error, so I'll fix it now and then it will, I will join to my account and now uh, we'll create a new repository. I will do it newly so uh, you can now come with me. So let, you are, what, what stage you are? On what stage you are? On um, repository creation? Uh, sorry, Roger, I do have a one question to you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Okay, uh, I just typed that uh, command of commit and the message popped up that please tell me who, who you are. I mean, uh, it does work with me. Do you know what's the problem or should I look up in the Google? Uh, what do you mean? What's the problem? You can write in chat. I mean, I wrote down that command command in the git bash uh, uh, and created index HTML, for example, and the message <clears throat> popped up that oh, author identity unknown. Please tell me who you are. Run. Uh, you can, you can, if you have this problem, you should. Uh, write git global configuration. So uh, run this, I will link it. Can you pass code uh, in the chat? Yes, there was passed already. Uh, change your name to your name and username to, uh, and email to your email. So it will work. Thank you all. So now I'm creating a new repository and uh, your I'm I'm going to do it slow. So let's take a name. Uh, we don't need description. Uh, it will be public. Uh, we don't need any it ignore license was yet and just click on create repository. We have here three uh, choices of how we uh, should uh, upload it on GitHub, our uh, local rep local folder. So we should uh, uh, make choice to second one and just copy it, git remote add origin to this repository, copy it and paste it here. Uh, so it's it's visible and just press enter. Uh, 
Uh, I have some problems with it. So. Uh -huh. And okay. Uh, can, can you got the error right? Yeah, yeah, I get the error. Can I, you, can I give you a suggestion? Yeah, of course. Uh, could you try uh, git checkout uh, minus b like to make new branch? I I had same problem and I sold this. I mean, I changed m with b. And you create new branch called main, and then you can push it to the main. Like this or? Uh, it exists. Oh, we, we can. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, like this. Okay, and now push it. Yes. yes. Uh, origin this branch. So I have uh, I have uh, a problem with uh, account switching, so I will create a folder again. And I will yes, I, I think it would be to uh, make the new folder. So I will delete it. And now I will create a new folder. I will tell it, for example. And here with terminal again, I will create index.html file. So click on it and create index.html. I'm going to just here again, in here, make h1. And in the P so now I will again uh, in terminal and this it's add. Ah, uh, it's first we need to show this. Get in it. Then get head. And then we can commit it. Git commit M. And it will be fit again. Fit added. Oh, commit created successfully. And now let's go back to the repository and go to git remote add origin. No, let's copy it. And paste it here. So works well. Then copy it. And run it and then just push it. Excuse me for interrupting, but uh, under this terminal gap, what we are exactly pointing there? What are those codes in under this terminal gap? Uh, what does it? I don't understand the question. It's from where have you created those all those uh, information under this terminal? From here, PSC and the dots and all yes. those. It is content of uh, uh, index HTML file. We can no, see. No, I, I understand that. I am asking another question. Can you please open the code, uh, visual code editor? Yes. 
So under this terminal, there is written a terminal, and under this right Elania and uh, some informations, how you have created all the information. Can you give us the details? Or what are those exactly? I mean that. I want comments. Yes, I even this one. Yes, yes, that please. Remote. So this comment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No this kids, these comments will uh, link our GitHub repository to our local repository. What repository link currently is? This is my link to repository. This will uh, uh, initialize the branch, the main place we are working. It will be called main. This mm -hmm. is calling main, and this push command will upload it to GitHub repository. So, for example, when I was using the GitHub desktop, I need to write here that I have added some details and then push to origin. Will I need this or will not? Will I not? Um, I it will automatically, it will it automatically uh, upload uh, the information I have added to the code? Yes, yes. Yes, I need to know that. OK, thank you. I commented the information uh, we, we, which was inserted here, and then it was going to be uploaded. And now let's see what happened to our GitHub. Let's refresh it. And as we see, there is a repository with index HTML file. So now let's um, make a branch. Branch means the place where we are working currently this time. So for create, uh, so let's write git branch. Command. And we see that we have one branch called main. The, we are working on main branch. So for uh, creation of another functionality or another files, but we don't need to create it on kind of this uh, branch in this place. We need it to make in another, in another place. So just write git branch and create new place named second branch, for example, or I will I will add styles here and I will call it styles. So, okay, branch was created. Now let's write the branch to check it. We can see the here main and styles, two branches. Here. And to move from branch, now we are in main branch uh, yet, and to move on styles branch, let's write command git checkout and then branch name, in my case, tiles. So switch to branch tiles, everything is OK. So here we have uh, another place in work. So if I again type B branch, you see that we are now in style branch. So here I need to create another file, which will be styles CSS. And here let's style some CSS with CH1 and color. Sorry, color. Save it and link the CSS to HTML. Right, style CSS. Save it. And now on this branch we see uh, style start CSS and let's add it. As we did it in past kids add then dot or file name then write git commit m and it will be fiat also it will be semantic commit fiat it starts commit was added and let's push it to I'm uploading now uh, on the our repository. So git push .org and create the main branch will be now styles, origin styles, not main. So upload it successfully. Now we go to uh, GitHub again, and there already appeared styles. Styles has been recently pushed for a minute. And we, we have here branches, so main, and if we click here, we have all of these styles branch. If we click on styles, we will see the file style.css. So uh, the most important thing, again, with you will uh, use during this course and uh, on the real 
project is creating a pull request. To create a pull request, uh, it's work only on GitHub. It's don't work on a bash or, uh, or the UI. It works on the website github.com. Let's click on pull requests. Let's click again new pull request. And there is uh, a scam. It is from here to here. We are uh, creating the pull request. I mean, I mean from styles we are creating to main. OK, it means that we are uh, contributing. We are uh, mixing these two styles and index in one branch using the pull request. And the pull request is good also because uh, your code will be reviewed here. Your, your mentors will check this code here. You will, mentors will fix it and write the comments of your uh, cause and best practice here, and you will uh, able to fix it then. So let's click on create pull request. And here is the important part that your pull request will be fully, fully filled. So you will write uh, a, a normal name for pull request. Uh, for example, your pull request will be about tasks, so it will be like task one uh, dash markdown and git. It will be the name of first pull request, and you will uh, totally fully explain what is your uh, pull request about, what is your bugs are about, or what you need to improve. And you can also uh, attach a screenshots of your results. It will be a good practice to and write it. So write some texts. I, I, in my case, I will write some text. You can write anything you want. So just uh, click on create pull requests. And we have a pull request here. So your mentors or people who check or you can uh, add a comment and the comments here uh, with the parts of codes will be fixed so uh, you can easily uh, modify your code here and when it's done your mentor your uh, project manager in near future or something the per person above you will approve this branch will approve this pull request and you will able to click on merge pull request this green button confirm merge and you'll see pull request successful emerged and closed. So when you now go to uh, your repository again, you will see that on main branch is two files already: index.html and style CSS. These files are merged. So to sum up, uh, the Git is not a uh, easy thing, but it's come with practice. So. The GitHub is not only one host which is in Git. For example, did you hear about Bitbucket? Some of you may have heard about it. Or GitLab. Yes. Yeah, I heard about GitLab. Yeah, it is alternative for GitHub, which works on Git's uh, version control system. So to sum up, uh, yeah, you can use also uh, Graphical uh, interfaces for Git, for example, I am using GitHub Desktop. So there is your current repository. You can close clone your repositories, add local, uh, create new. I will clone, for example, uh, uh, there are my repositories. So uh, for example, this I will clone, for example, this and just click on clone. Uh, it is making everything uh, while during interface, not by terminal commands. So what does it clone command means? I will explain with terminal. For example, if we uh, deleted, unfortunately, this folder from our computer, it is also already saved on GitHub, so don't be, I can delete now, it. I open this file, I will close it. Um, hey, I have a question. Okay. Sorry for interruption, first of all. And second of all, do we have to get the same version of the video studio? With the, I mean, studio. Or you should, you mean can we get the different one? Yeah. Uh, different one or the same one? What do you just call? Visual Studio, do we have to get the same one as you have? Or can you, we get the other use, one? You can use any, any text editor you wish. 
OK, the, which one is easier? So it's uh, guys, sorry for interrupt. Uh, in the Discord, I have shared the link uh, on a lecture related to IDs, uh, and uh, I guess you will find the answer on this question here. So it's lectures lecture about uh, code editors, so you can compare it for for yourself and decide for yourself. It's up to you. It's feel free. OK, thank you. So uh, if we uh, unfortunately deleted it, so what we should do? We should clone it. Uh, yeah, again. Yeah. Uh, copy it. We click on code in our repository. Click on, click on copy button or select it and then click copy. It doesn't matter. And again, in any place you want to copy it for for my in my case it will be desktop click on uh, right button and click git right here again and type git sorry git clone and paste our link our copy link here and click on here wait and yep yeah, successfully cloned so now we can see here our repository again. So it is easier way uh, to do it with terminal. It is the same commands, but with uh, clicks on user interface terminal. So it's more easier uh, and it is only up to you. So that was it. Thank you. And have you got any questions? Uh, yes, I have a question uh, about our homework. Yes. Uh, so when we make uh, like uh, when we make it, first of all, I cannot find uh, one of given link which should be example of real uh, real uh, Git page, and I can send you right now uh, in chat. So I can't open it. I don't know. Maybe I don't have permission, or it doesn't work. Could you please check it? Okay. Well, it's not working. It's uh, session expired, so it's old. Okay. All right, we can, uh, we can see it. Example. Seems that you share the example how it should look like after you uh, register on uh, Roland Scope's application. I will create your repo. Yeah, it will be available on private repos. I remember. Yeah, you will okay. have the private repositories for everyone. Uh, all right, I understand. And should we uh, should we send it to you, or how can we show you our homework? As I mentioned before, uh, you will give the private repositories. Uh, you finish your home task, then you go to Rollscope's application, go to auto test, and uh, choose the. Um, uh, Markdown and Git and provide uh, the link like of this, but instead of your GitHub account will be your name. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. OK, any questions? Uh, this video will be uploaded on YouTube, right? Yes, it will be uploaded. So, uh, also, is there any good, uh, um, for example, themes in Georgian language to help us to make more clear the topic? In Georgian language, about Git? Yes. yes. Well, I don't know exactly. I will find it. I will link it on Discord. Yes, it will be OK, because uh, there is still some small points which was unclear, so we will be able to read Self it on our native language. Self education is the like most important thing now. Thank you. So I will think, I will Thank you. It will be great. Can you hear? Yes. Um, I um, I want to know about uh, GitHub, and uh, I mean that is it any difference uh, to use uh, Windows 
uh, on, on Windows, GitHub and then Linux. Is it uh, main difference about that? If you are using Git Bash on Windows or Terminal, it, if, as I know, it, there is no difference. So it does not have any limitation, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. you. Can yeah, I use I use Windows, and uh, yeah, I'm interested in that if uh, that this, this uh, ha has any problem about GitHub. Well, no, no, to be honest, not. Okay. It will so, use it free. Thank you so much. Some more questions. I have a question about installation kit. Uh, which editor would you like uh, kits to use? Uh, which should I uh, point? Let's see. Point. Well, as Hannah mentioned, she will link the uh, IDs uh, later. And uh, uh, you will decide yourself. So it's not a big deal how we on which we editor you will be writing. Uh, also, also maybe uh, I can't really understand fully. Is it okay? Or because I'm new at Frontier? Well, you can uh, uh, watch this video again on the YouTube recording will be uploaded there or uh, I can help you with uh, other studies or uh, video recordings. So I'll write it on Discord. You can contact me. Uh, also, I've provided several uh, links uh, in the Discord to alternative lectures. Perhaps uh, the information from other lectures would be uh, more easier for understanding for someone. So you may choose uh, any lectures uh, to get information. Well, uh, I read the last question uh, about version control. I mentioned it that version control is important to control your code, to control your uh, written ones and to roll back to the previous one. For example, you have a big problem with the next version of code and it doesn't work anymore and you want to roll back to the previous one which was working and uh, you need to uh, make this work again, you can roll back with Git and uh, you can use uh, version control for it. Also, it is good for team contribution when on one project works more than 10 or 20 uh, people. It is easier to divide uh, this whole project with tasks and each task will be done by uh, several people. So in uh, version control will be organized very, very easy. May I have a question? Um, are you guys going to stay active? Because after watching the video, if we get um, the questions, uh, I don't, um, I can't really stay for the next lesson. Can we guys ask you about the weird questions? Yeah, feel free to contact me about questions about during tasks. Or... Ah, thank you. If someone is it possible to see on GitHub, we change the name. Yeah, of course. Uh, it uh, it will be uh, good shown when mentor coming in the case and mentor will work on your code too, and you will see who is contributing to your code and what change have been made. Um, can I ask you one more question, please? Yes, uh, I have just some kind of tech question and also it's about homework again. Uh, so if we make branch on our public repository and we did not merge it to master, like who will check it? Like uh, how should, it, you, uh, you should you should you should uh, merge it to master with pull request? I showed you. 
Yeah, but I mean, in, in uh, tasks, there is uh, mentioned that you should not merge, uh, do not merge the pull request. Uh, it will be, uh, pull request is open and pull request is visible. So All right, it's visible, it's visible, but uh, so it will not be merged anymore. So I should give somebody permission, right? Maybe you or... Yeah, after, after checking it, it will be merged as I know, as I remembered. I don't know exactly the answer to it. All right. Uh, when we create uh, the private repo for every one of you, your mentor will have permission to uh, look at your uh, pull requests. All right, thank you. Yes, but we have no mentor right now. How to share it? During the first step, uh, your task will be checked by script or by the other students. This student will get uh, permission to your account. We must uh, we must uh, choose who want to check our... No, no. It, will be, it, it will be done by uh, coordinators. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, there is section uh, on uh, your website uh, which which gives you opportunity to create repository. Should we upload our project, I mean our uh, first homework on this repository, or should we make new one? This create repository button is available for curators and mentors, and they will create this for you in near future if you pass it. So you can click it as a new. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying now uh, to see what kind of uh, uh, conditions of the first task to make a repository, and uh, how can I uh, see the conditions of task? In the task, uh, in the description section, you may uh, see wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, the criteria. Uh, I'm uh, on my account right now. And uh, uh, can I on my account uh, find the conditions of my tasks? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, how can I, uh, where is my task? Can, can you explain? Uh, when you join the Rollins Comps application, uh, yes, you will I'm find the right first now. task, mm -hmm. uh, read the description, implement it, in private repo uh, that will be created uh, tomorrow due to I am waiting uh, when all students join the join the Rollins Comps application. Uh, it will show uh, after you will uh, make uh, this repository. Yeah, I will create these repositories. Uh, you will get the email about it. So mm -hmm. you will join this repository clone it to your mm, machine and then uh, you will implement the task uh, and uh, create the pull request. This pull request you will submit uh, through the application in case, uh, uh, in any case, uh, the application uh, show the information about your task. Is it OK or it's uh, have some issues and so on. So you will uh, give the message from Roland Scope application with information according to your task. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, I have just uh uh, pressed on the button and uh, uh, received from email a risk call uh, to view invasions. Uh, I make uh, something wrong uh, because from uh, my account on RS call, RS school, uh, I. Uh, Currently, you should uh, just join the Rollins Comps application. Okay, tomorrow. I, I, 
I, I know, I know, but uh, I think I uh, make something wrong because uh, when I uh, go to the dashboard, okay. uh, I uh, press on the button, and yes. uh, there is my uh, there is appeared my uh, repository. Can I uh, share the screen? Okay. Well, let's try. Chat. Okay, wait a minute. I don't know, maybe it was wrong. Like this. You see? Uh, no, you didn't share. On the, ah, I shared this to all the teams, Chad. Mm, no. Do you see the screenshot? What I sent? Uh, no. Okay. I didn't. How can I? Okay. Um, I, in general questions, uh, on this card, I will um, share it, okay? Yeah, okay. It would be nice if uh, you share in Discord and uh, yes, guys, yes, I, I if you know the answer on the question of other guys, please uh, feel free to answer and hel uh, help to each other. I guess okay. it would be okay. okay. Do you have other questions? No, I have not. Right. What okay, about thank other you. guys? Uh, no, no, all is clear. Thanks. Okay, I have shared several links uh, in the Discord, in the chat uh, for Git. And in case you have question related to Git, please ask uh, in this uh, chat. I uh, hope it will help you to organize your chats. Uh, let's see. Okay. In case you have no any questions, uh, we will uh, finish this lecture and thank you one more time uh, to, for attending. I hope our communication will be useful for you and in future you became an front-end developers and became our colleagues. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.